Hello and welcome back. This is the sixth video in a series where I'm showing you how to build your own Flash character rig for cutout animation from start to finish, step by step. In this last installment, I will be guiding you through the process of converting the symbol structure that we've already created in the previous videos into a smart magnet rig. Smart magnet rigs allow us to utilize all the extremely refined and powerful posing and animation tools included in the EDAP tools package. If you're unfamiliar with EDAP tools, please follow the link below to our website. In the tutorial section, there's a post called Smart Magnet Rigs, which is always pinned at the top. From there, you can get a good overview of all the features and the tools and detailed information how to use those tools and what they can do. When we finish this demonstration, I'll prepare the rig for download and it will be available for free download from our website, just as the Kinefox and the Smart Magnet bot. All links will be in the description below. Okay, so just a quick recap before we go into the Smart Magnet rigging part, what we did so far. We started with a sketch and then we identified where the joints should be and started with a bunch of circles. These circles were later turned into symbols and we filled in those symbols with content. The reason why we started with circles is the following. If you create a symbol out of a circle, the registration of that said symbol is in the center of the circle, as is in this case. So when we're outside, this is the example, this is the upper arm. When we're outside and when we rotate this symbol, uh, the specific of course is that it always registers and rotates from the center of this initial circle. As explained in detail in the second video in this series, we construct our joints with two overlapping circles and joints constructed in such a way will never break. So if I quickly undo all these and grab this and move it outside so that we can see better, if we rotate you can see how the elbow being constructed over two overlapping circles will never break. So this was the reason we started with circles which we converted to symbols because this is the easiest and fastest way to properly register our symbols in a way that is functional for cutout animation. Okay. Now, having said that, I'll revert my file and show you what's changed since the end of the last video. Just as I was intending, I went into the head and I drew a few more mouths. So what we have here, let's just zoom in so that we can see better. That was the original mouth and I drew a few more, an open one, well, and um, contrary to my initial expectation, I had to move the cheek inside the muzzle because I found out that I wanted to have more extreme positions and the mouth actually went quite far away into the eye. So I had to make the cheek a part of the mouth symbol. Now, I've also prepared a couple of just variations, different facial expressions, showcasing the different mouths. The first thing that we'll do is we'll create thumbnails for the eyebrow. Now, 
we can just test the different eyebrows using the panel, the smart graphic control panel. So these are the eyebrows that are included already in the package and we'll create thumbnails for the muzzle. Let's try the different muzzles. Okay, so you can see how that works. And we already should have thumbnails for the eyes. So if I load the eyes, we can do blinks and there's another type of closed eye which should work well with um, say a different eyebrow like this one for example and maybe a grumpy mouth yeah something like this okay now I'll go into each of the elements one by one and first I will have to add to them center markers. This command, create magnet target or center marker, is the one that uh, allows you to add center markers. You need to hold down Alt if you want to call it from the menu. So holding down Alt and choosing it from the menu will create the center marker. It creates a layer and it creates this diamond looking shape coinciding with the reg point of our symbol. Now we'll go through all of my symbols and press Alt tilde which is the shortcut. You can see a diamond appeared coinciding with the reg point. So very quickly I'll add center markers to all my elements. The lower arm, the upper arm, Head. the neck and the torso wouldn't need one. Now if we go in outline mode from outside of the symbols and even if we're inside another symbol we can see where the registration is and this is the reason for the existence of these center markers. So I'll go into each symbol again. We go outline. We can see where the center of the foot is. Now I'm inside the lower leg. I will create a magnet target. Uh, this magnet target has to come here it will identify where the foot has to snap to. Upon pressing tilde, it will look for the center marker in the other symbol and position itself over uh, the, center, the center marker of the foot, which will be the exact position that we need. I'll go out, go inside the upper leg, create another magnet target here, and press tilde, it snaps to the center marker in the upper leg and so on and so on. Now I'll do the arms, a magnet target for the hand and another one for the, the lower arm in the elbow. a magnet target for the head and now we have to go inside the torso and add magnet targets for all of the elements 
this will be the one for the neck. I'm all dragging just to duplicate the one that I already created. This will be the one for the closer arm and this will be the one for the other arm. Now I'll create another one here. This will be the target for the tail. This will be the target for one of the legs and another target for the other leg. That having been done, I think we're ready with all the magnet targets. We can quickly try them. See, things already snap. Now we need to go to the Smart Magnet Rig panel and create a node representation of our rabbit. I'll create a new rig. I'll call it Rabbit. This is our the representation of our master parent, which will be, in our case, the torso. And then by dragging out with this tool, we can create nodes for each of the elements. So this will be our neck and this will be the head of the rabbit. We have the tail connected to the torso and we also have arms that consists of one, two, three elements. So one, two, three elements for this arm and one, two, three elements for the other arm. Same applies to the legs. We have upper leg, lower leg and foot. So one, two, three elements for the leg and another three elements for the other leg. Now I'll start tagging the elements with rig information using the chain tool. Uh, you'll see how when I select the chain tool, most elements get grayed out with the exception of the master parent. So it means that we have to start by tagging the master parent first. Uh, we need to go hierarchically from the master parent toward the children. So the first one to tag with uh, rig information will be the master parent. How do we do this? We click on the master parent and then we click on the node representation. You see how all these other elements got unlocked. Now I'll go for the neck, click on the neck and now the node representation for the head got unlocked. So I'll finish off this chain with the head. I will tag the tail and I will continue with the arm. I'm just clicking on a symbol instance on the stage and then clicking on the node representation of this symbol instance. The panel writes rig information into the symbol instance so it becomes aware of where in the hierarchy it actually resides. Now I'll have to switch outlines on so that I can see the elements that are behind the torso and go leg one, leg two and foot. Arm one, lower arm and hand. With that being done, the smart magnet rig is actually complete. I'll save my file and test very quickly by moving this master parent away from all the others, pressing 1 to chain select all the children and pressing tilde to snap them back in place. It all works fine so I'll undo and the next thing I'll do would be to create 
an extra key and try Kineflex. Okay, works fine. Let's uh, go in outline mode and try to move the other arm. Let's try the legs. All right, it seems it seems to be working quite nicely. So this is the first time really when we see how well our rig functions. Now one thing that I haven't done is registering the body properly is if you remember we started with the circle here that uh, indicates the hinge between the torso and the neck now I'll re-register this body I will choose the Q tool and go somewhere here which would be the center of gravity and I will go control T which will change the registration of our symbol and now if I choose the Kineflex tool again you will see how the rabbit behaves in a different way now we can choose a different frame for the head and we can come up with some nicer more dynamic looking pose okay i'm not going to pretend that i can do my best posing while recording so i'll uh, come up with some cool poses a little later when i'm preparing the rig for download but for now this is all that i wanted to demonstrate that smart magnet rigging works and let's just uh, see if we can choose some heads to make these two characters kind of look as if they're interacting to make this guy look as if he's gesturing maybe change the angle of the torso a little bit as if he's he's explaining something to you the fox well something something like this all right this is it my job is done both of our characters are now fully functional smart magnet rigs both of them have different mouth positions and blinks various facial expressions and you have now completed this short course and should know how to build your own starting from a sketch and then going through the joint analysis creating the symbol structure and filling your symbols with content. I really hope that this was helpful and thank you for watching.